Good morning. I'm Ken Suggs, principal attorney in the Columbia office of Janet Jenner and Suggs. Janet Jenner and Suggs is a nationally practicing law firm dedicated to advocacy for injured people, especially children injured at or around birth. Uh, some of you may remember that we are counsel for one of the young men assaulted by Jerry Sandusky. I have today filed two lawsuits. One is a medical malpractice case here in Richland County against the Department of Social Services, the Medical University of South Carolina, and the Greenville Hospital System. The other is a civil rights action against the Department of Social Services and several individuals in federal court in Charleston, South Carolina. These are the first lawsuits of their kind filed in the United States. Some of the other speakers will elaborate on the facts, but briefly, these lawsuits involve a decision by DSS and physicians employed by government agencies to perform a dangerous, unnecessary, and mutilating surgery on a 16-month-old boy, identified in our lawsuit as MC. MC was born with genitalia that had some male and some female characteristics. At the time, he was in the custody of DSS. The defendants in this case decided to make him physically a female. They removed his penis and a testicle. That was a permanent, irreversible decision that was not theirs to make. I'm proud to join with the Southern Poverty Law Center, represented today by Alistair Idelson, Advocates for Informed Choice, represented by Ann Tamora Mattis, the law firm of Steptoe and Johnson, represented by John Lovey and William Ellerby, and Sean Sifa Wall, co-president of AIC, and himself a member of the intersex community. But I'm most proud to be representing the other two people standing up here with us, Mark and Pam Crawford, parents of MC, whose courage and strength in standing for their son and for all other children like MC is an example to us all.